Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do your reading here. We're going to do person on your mind. Uh, we also will do a short read on new love as well towards the end. Okay. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, this reading may resonate with you. It may not. There will be an extended reading link below. I do um, an almost personal reading about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, intentions, uh, love notes, and guidance as well, okay? And then the last thing that I'll mention is I am giving away one free personal reading each month. To enter, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. I will uh, pick a random winner and announce a winner the first week of every month. So with that, Sagittarius, let's get started here with your reading. We're gonna pull the energy here first with the Romance Angel cards. Let's see what the energy is here for Sagittarius. All right. Okay, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. We have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And then let's see what your third card is. Wow, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Okay, so it feels like you and this person have a definitely have a very strong chemistry together. And I'm going to say this reading can be with uh, someone that you're currently with or somebody uh, that maybe you there's some distance or separation. There's definitely an energy here of a lot of chemistry between you and this person. I also feel um, if you, when you're not with this person or if you're in separation, I do feel with this playfulness card that this person misses you, okay? I do feel like when the two of you are together, um, I'm, I feel like the two of you have fun, you laugh, um, and I feel what really Spirit is saying here too with this attraction card, um, it's kind of that energy of staying in the present, right? Going with the flow, not too thinking too much about the future or the past, all right? So whatever comes up in your reading, I feel Spirit wants you to stay in the moment, okay? Just enjoy the moment, um, you know, with your person, right? whether it's now or whether it is coming up, okay? So let's uh, pull your cards and see what comes out for you, Sagittarius. We'll do some clarifying as well uh, on the cards that are needed to clarify. And then as I said, we'll do uh, a little short read on love. So, and then we'll take it to the extended. Thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. What's the energy here for Sagittarius? What can you show Sagittarius? All right. Okay. We have the five of wands. We have the nine of swords. We have the six of swords. We have the seven of pentacles. We have, there you are, Sag. It's right in the heart of your reading, temperance. We also have here the page of swords. We have the High Priest, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have here the Four of Wands, okay. And bottom of the deck here, we have the Six of Cups. Definitely have a soulmate connection here, all right? I feel, we're going to clarify and we're going to get to this, but I do feel there's an energy here of you and, and someone per, you know, kind of um, seeing where things go, I feel here towards a relationship, all right? Whether you're with this person or you're not with this person, I do see uh, some upcoming communication, but let's go through this, okay? We have here uh, the Five of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the High Priest, okay? I feel in the recent past, um, some of you may have had some sort of internal struggle, uh, maybe doing a lot of thinking here. I'm going to say here, too, this could be around relationships, okay, right? Commitment. Right? Is this person invested in in this 
connection or this relationship is what I get here. You could be dealing with a Taurus, strong Taurus. We also have here Capricorn, Virgo energy, and we have your energy here, Sagittarius, okay? So for some of you, I feel like <clears throat> this could be an internal struggle, right? Is this a situation that is going um, to something more committed um, or relationship? But for some of you, I feel here, right, you, you may be questioning this connection, this relationship. Is this something that I want to invest my time in? And you and this person may not be on the same page, okay? Know that roles and energies can be reversed, so <clears throat> I'm going to clarify, I want to see here why um, it feels like either there's a struggle or you and this person um, may not be in the same place where when it comes to what both of you want in a relationship. So we'll clarify that five of wands. Now you also have here in your current energy, you have the nine of swords, you have the temperance, your energy, and we have the eight of wands. Okay. So I definitely see an energy here, Sagittarius, a very passionate energy I get um, with you and this person, okay? It does feel though, I'm just going to say here, it does feel like this is something more, um, has been something more ca casual. Um, it feels like um, you and somebody here in the connection I feel is kind of uh, just going with the flow, taking things as they come. I don't feel like, you know, uh, this is something serious right now, okay? We have the Nine of Swords here. I do feel like there's some worry here. Uh, we're gonna clarify that Nine of Swords. I'm gonna clarify this Eight of Wands, okay? We're gonna see what that is, okay? Can be communication, but it also can be maybe things aren't flowing. I feel here with that Nine of Swords here, not flowing here, right? You may be trying to find your balance in the situation, okay? Now, in the near future energy, you have the Six of Swords, the Page of Swords, and you have the Four of Wands, okay? So whatever situation there is, I feel here, Sagittarius, if this is a situation where you and this person haven't been on the same page, okay? Whatever that is, I feel like you and this person are going to move past whatever that is. It could be a conflict. It could be an argument. It could be, right, poor communication, all right? A uh, page of swords for me can be kind of breaks in communication or poor communication. So I feel, uh, Sagittarius, that there is definitely um, an energy here where there is a strong enough soulmate connection between you and this person. Where the two of you, I feel, could get past uh, whatever, right, the situation is around you and this person not seeing eye to eye. Now, this could just be your own internal struggle uh, that you are going through, but I feel like there's an energy here of you and this person having a strong enough connection to be able to get past something, okay? Let's clarify that five of wands. We'll start there. Okay, why is the five of wands here, please? Why is the five of wands here, please? Okay, so we have the full card. We have the empress. Okay, and we have the king of wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the ten of coin. All right. There's someone here in the connection who's not too sure if they want uh, a relationship here is what I get, okay? Uh, you may be asking your higher self about this, right? Is this a connection I want to invest in? Why is the high priest, his, high priest here, please? Why is the high priest here? With that high priest here, I do feel like this is someone maybe who challenges you a bit, Maybe um, is somebody here, I feel, uh, maybe you feel like you learn a lot from this person. Okay, we have the five of coin. We have the two of coin. And we have here the two of cups. Okay, so I feel like Sagittarius, your higher self, is telling you that there is a very strong connection between you and this person. However, there's something here that's lacking, okay? You have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. 
Now, maybe uh, what's lacking here, maybe is somebody's, um, you know, emotional investment here in the connection, in the relationship, taking things to the next level. Because as I said here, I do feel like this has been kind of a casual energy, right? It does feel either you, Sag, or your person here, it does feel like um, either there's some distance, okay, there's some been some time apart, or this is somebody here who has just kept things kind of casual, all right? You have the Knight of Cups here. Could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see what the worry is here, okay? We got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. Why is the Nine of Swords here? And why? what is the worry here, okay? What is the worry here about? All right. We have the Sun card, Leo Energy. We have the King of Swords, Ten of Wands. Palace of Swords. Somebody's doing a lot of thinking here about the situation. We have the Two of Wands. I feel like it's you, Sagittarius. I feel like you're in a place right now that you're trying to make a decision here around this connection, around this relationship, okay? There's something here around you and this person. You know, I don't know, maybe two of you are in different places in your life. Um, or maybe uh, you have different beliefs around what a relationship or a, co a commitment looks like. But um, there's definitely an energy here of um, uh, memories missing each other. Um, you know, the connection is still there. The attraction is there. Uh, but somebody I feel here is struggling with commitment is the energy that I get. Okay, you have the sun, the king of swords, you have the ten of wands, and you have the palace of swords. Okay, I feel the worry here is I feel like um, either you need to say something Sagittarius or you want to say something to this person is what I get here. Uh, maybe there's been, like I said, I, I feel like you know, um, there could be some poor communication, maybe not a whole lot of communication. I feel like that's the worry here, right? Uh, part of the worry, I should say. Let's clarify uh, the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? Okay, we have here the Five of Wands. There's the Five of Wands again, the Justice. All right, we have the Queen of Coin, okay, and we have the Tower, okay. So Sagittarius, what I feel here, and we have the Five of Cups, okay. So we have the Five of Cups and the Six of, of Cups here, okay. I feel like Sagittarius, there's somebody who has regrets or um, is sad about something here now it could be you know two of you may have gotten in an argument or there was some sort of conflict in the situation or like i said the two of you may not have been on the the same page i'm even getting miscommunication here between you and your person you have the five of wands and you have the justice card okay so i feel sagittarius this person is coming towards you wanting to communicate wanting to work things out Right, could even be an apology, but not really feeling apology energy, feeling more so the two of you getting on the same page where I feel like in the past maybe you haven't. You got the queen of coin here as well, so I do feel like this is somebody who um, they want things to be stable, right? They want to get back to this happy place with you where the two of you can be happy and have fun together, all right? So I do feel like you got somebody coming towards you, your person on your mind. Um, but let's clarify. Okay, we got the Four of Wands, the Page of Swords, and we have the Six of Swords. Okay, I'm going to clarify this Page of Swords. All right. This is where I feel um, that you and this person are going to be able to get past the breaks in communication or miscommunication that I'm feeling here. Okay. So let's see. What do we have here? Okay. Death card, strong Scorpio energy. Okay. We have the five of cups. There you are. Temperance and the ten of coin. So uh, for some of you, this feels like this is somebody who um, you may have had an ending with. You've got the moon card here, strong Pisces, strong Cancerian energy. 
So it feels like, Sag, you got the Death card and the Five of Cups. Okay, so this is someone I feel here, you know, they may have regrets about something that they said. Uh, I do feel like this person is curious about you. They probably do some spying to see what you're up to. Um, but this is someone I feel who is sad, right? They're sad here about whatever happened between the two of you, okay? So you got the temperance and you have the ten of coin, okay? Now, I'm going to say here, if, if you didn't have a breakup or there wasn't an argument or something here, this just could represent that this is somebody who went through a difficult relationship in the past and sometimes it makes this person distant is what I'm going to say. You have temperance and you have the ten of coin here. Again, I feel like this person wants to get on the same page with you. They want to communicate. They want to bring things back to a stable place. Some of you, if you're in a relationship with this person, they want to be in a relationship again right here with that four of wands. Let's clarify the four of wands and then I'm going to pull some more cards and then we'll go into the potential for new love, all right? So why is the four of wands here, please? Why is the four of wands here, please? All right, we have the Palace of Coin, we have the Three of Wands, we have the Page of Wands. I like this Page of Wands because there's four wands there, all right? Right here with the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Cups, okay? Bottom of the deck, here we have the faith card, okay? This is telling me there's still hope if you're wanting to be with this person. Um, I feel like they're saying here, right? Have faith that everything's working out for your highest good. You have the uh, palace of coins. You have the three of wands. We got the uh, page of wands and we have the queen of cups, yeah. There's an opportunity for you and this person to build something I feel for the long term. There's still love there um, or there is love there, okay? And I feel like there's an energy here. Um, if this is an, um, someone that you've been waiting for communication from, right? You've been wanting things to move towards something stable, maybe even something committed or maybe even marriage. I'm going to say it's moving in that direction. I see that too here with the Six of Swords, okay? So whatever conflict there was in the past, right? I see an energy here of that, you know, things being able to work out between you and this person. There's still a lot of chemistry. There's still a lot of, you know, attraction there. Um, I feel like whatever, uh, what's going on, you know, even if your person is just being distant, okay, it's going to work out, I feel here. That's why they're saying have faith. So I'm going to pull a few more cards. We're just going to see what else the energy shows here for you, Sag. Uh, in the extended, we will, uh, you know, dive deeper into your person, right? And we will, uh, the intentions will be key in the situation, right? What their intentions are. So let's see what else can be said here for Sagittarius. All right. So we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords. The Five of Cups, the Sun card, Leo energy, the Eight of Swords, we have the Three of Cups, okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Queen of Pentacles, all right. So I'm going to say Sag, it's going to take work. It's showing me here with the Six of Pentacles and the Sun card. There is potential here. It's going to take work here. Um, you may have felt, right, like uh, the effort was out of balance here with you and this person. Now you have the Ace of Swords and you have the Eight of Swords, okay? You have the Nine of Swords down here as well, okay? I see communication, but I also see you kind of uh, worried here about 
being stuck for some reason, okay? But I feel like what Spirit is saying here with the Ace of Swords, you got to look at the big picture, okay? So if you're really up in your head about this, okay, and usually Sagittarius, you're very open-minded uh, for most of you, but, um, you know, this is a time to be open-minded and, and look at the big picture here. Don't just focus right on the details okay or one specific thing that might be bothering you here okay give it a chance if this is what you want you have the five of cups here and you have the three of cups this is a chance for you and this person to reconnect okay to reconnect to uh, communicate communication is going to be key here because i feel like there was some poor communication or not a whole lot of communication maybe around right where you're both at and what you both want in this connection or relationship so i feel the communication is going to be key for you sagittarius all right i'm just going to pull three more cards okay we have the seven of wands we have the wheel and we have the two of cups yeah I feel like um, I feel like Sagittarius. You may be very guarded at this time, but I feel uh, Sagittarius that this definitely could shift in a new direction. I feel here, like I said, with the communication, right? I feel like um, this is somebody. If you can kind of go with the flow, have fun, laugh together. Good chemistry, right, is already there. The attraction's already there. And don't think too much about it, right? <laughs> don't get caught up in your head. Now, this could be your person as well, okay? So we'll see in the extended, you know, where that's going to go. Um, but let's, let's pull some cards here for new love. Just to see if some of you, uh, the crossroads energy came up. So just to see if you, you know, are keeping your options open. Are you, you are making a decision here around what direction to go? <laughs> yeah, as I say, making a decision. Look what came up, the two of pentacles. So you may be weighing your options here in this situation. Okay, what can you tell Sagittarius about new love? Is there um, a new love coming in here? For Sagittarius okay we have the six of swords we have the nine of pentacles we have the magician and bottom of the deck here we have the knight of wands so yes there is you know if if you set your intention that I'm just gonna say you want to move forward right you're not too sure about this situation. If you want to move forward here, I do feel this is telling you, you can definitely manifest somebody new in your life, okay? But there's an energy here of having to move on right from the past, okay? Because this may be a situation that's kept you conflicted. Um, so much so that, you know, like I said, I saw that back and forth energy, uh, you know, not knowing what you want to do. It does show me here with the nine of pentacles. I do feel that you could be man, you will manifest a new person in your life, someone that you're attracted to and somebody I feel here. Oh, look at that. Got the four of wands here as well. So you could definitely manifest a new relationship here, but you have to have your intention of what you really want. Are you are you wanting to to um, continue with this connection or relationship, or are you wanting a new love in your life? Right, you have to set that intention, okay? Because you're going to manifest what you want, okay? So, Sag, I'm going to take it to the extended. Uh, I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.